this shed, tucked away in the South London suburb of Wandsworth, isn't full of the usual old lawnmowers and kids' bikes. Instead, it was inside here that a 12-year-old, big on skill and ambition but short on facilities, began to develop his unquestionable talent for table tennis. Today, aged 14, Darius Knight is one of the best junior players in Europe. His success has also sparked a burgeoning interest in the game in England. Darius first hit the headlines when Matthew Syed, the British number one and three-time Commonwealth table tennis champion, wrote an article about him for a British newspaper. Syed was greatly impressed by the youngster's ability. Especially because when the two played against each other, Darius, who'd grown up in an impoverished part of the borough and only had access to meagre facilities and no top-class coaching, still proved a tough opponent for Syed. Darius is immensely talented. He's such a gifted young player. The way he moves, the way he strikes the ball, it's almost like table tennis has been encoded in his DNA. And I think that if he gets the right support going forward, He's got every chance to, to get the highest honours. Syed's article struck a chord with the paper's readers. Without prompting, donations came flooding in from people wanting to help Darius realise his full potential. Encouraged by this reaction, Syed, working with close friends in the city, decided to set up TTK Greenhouse, a charity to help underprivileged kids like Darius gain access to a sport that only attracts minority interest. I think that Darius' story is, is particularly resonant. Somebody with incredible talent, but somebody who didn't have the opportunity to fulfil it because he just didn't have access to decent facilities and decent coaching. The charity has gone from strength to strength. It now operates more than 25 table tennis clubs in schools and communities across London. The newest is at Wembley Technical High School in Brent. And guest of honour on the school's exhibition morning is Darius himself. When I finish school, I've got something to do. I finish school, run home, get changed, go practice. Like, and therefore, if I didn't do table tennis, I'd probably, you know, loafing around after school with my friends, causing trouble, you know, looking for anything, you know, just just for a bit of fun, get up to a bit of mischief. But therefore, now I've got table tennis. I'm pre I'm like very dedicated to what I do, so I make sure I'm try to get on time to practice. But TTK Greenhouse is more than just about enticing kids to play ping pong. The charity also hopes to raise educational standards and improve behaviour and self-esteem amongst pupils. It's something which is partly aspirational. It helps you to understand that if you give it your best shot, whether it is in sport or another area of life, you can achieve. But the other things that it does, it brings people together, it builds stronger communities, it combats obesity. And um, we found that it's improved punctuality and discipline amongst young people. Remember, at some of these schools, you know, the behaviour can be almost intolerable. Sport can teach the discipline that is so sadly lacking in some of our schools. Yeah. 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 Gareth Herbert is the Commonwealth champion and Britain's number two. He's also head coach at Wembley. Table is a great sport to watch and also to play. I think some of the kids have already seen that in just in the last couple of weeks I've been here. So already there's been a lot of people coming up to me saying, when is table tennis? When are the clubs? When's the breakfast clubs? So that means they're coming before school to play table tennis. They're coming after school to play table tennis. Yeah, so basically they're doing, they're doing something that's really good instead of maybe doing something they shouldn't be doing sort of 4.30 after school comes. A measure of the progress the TTK Greenhouse project has made in just two years can be witnessed at the Morpeth School in Tower Hamlets, one of the poorest inner-city areas in Europe. Not only has the East London School seen marked improvements in the behaviour of its pupils, it's also begun to challenge elite schools in national table tennis competitions. Grant Solder is the school coach and the project manager for TTK Greenhouse. We try and have 200 players per week in Morpeth Secondary School. We try and have 200 players per week in, in our four feeder primary schools. Uh, we have an elite section of sort of 30 hardcore players who compete on the tournament circuit and train very hard. 
We won a bronze medal at the England Schools Finals last year. We won a silver medal at the England Schools Finals this year. We've had one young player, 11 year old girl, just been picked for England Schools Girls Under 11 team. So we seem to be hitting every target, really. And such sporting success has positive outcomes for the school in general. Head teacher Alistair MacDonald. For some of the pupils um, who are involved in it, I think it's had an impact on them as individuals. Grant, who's our coach here, uh, makes very serious demands on the pupils. You know, he's got very high expectations of them. So anybody who joins the programme and takes it seriously, you know, he, he, he has aspirations for them which are perhaps higher than they encounter elsewhere. And so what happens is that they then, in a sense, have a reason to come to school and they have a reason to want to do well. And it has a, a very positive knock-on effect across the curriculum. Darius is now too old to be helped by TTK Greenhouse. He currently needs high-level table tennis tuition. Despite the GB team finishing runners-up at the European Youth Championships in Budapest last summer, the state-of-the-art national centre in Nottingham, where the best youngsters could train daily under expert tuition, has been forced to close due to a lack of funds. Uh, I was very disappointed because that's why I improved a lot. And now that I'm back in London, the practice isn't so good what I was getting from Nottingham. So it's like my uh, dream of being a couple world class tennis player is like fading away. But because I'm, uh, I'm trying to, you know, keep that alive because I'm trying to still practice hard. But I'm struggling, but, you know, I'm still doing well, I'm still improving, but just at a slower rate. You only need to look to China to see what Darius and other British hopefuls are up against. The undisputed champions of table tennis have no expense spared facilities in which child prodigies are nurtured from a very early age. However, given the right assistance, it's hoped Darius will be in his prime at the 2012 Olympics, possibly in front of his home crowd in London, as the city is still in the running to host the Games. It's very important for the governing body, the English Table Tennis Association, to ensure that Darius has the practice, has the facilities that he needs. This isn't really something the charity could do. We're looking at the grassroots, we're looking at the schools. Darius is beyond that now, um, and it would be a pity if he, he doesn't get the support that he really deserves.